Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a simple cloud with DigitalOcean. So DigitalOcean is a simple cloud hosting company, as the name states, and particularly is built for developers. What they do is give you a small provision of their servers to host your sites on or to run your applications. DigitalOcean is the best website to set up a site of your own if you have a lot of traffic. This is because VPS hosting is much faster than shared hosting and particularly because these are on SSDs it is reckoned to be about three times quicker than shared hosting. So each plan is based hourly and obviously you'll be charged per hour up to a monthly cap so for example if we switch to the hourly mode we can see that it costs 0 0.007 uh, per hour to have a basic SSD VPS setup and that will give you 512 meg of memory 1 core CPU 20 gig SSD disk and a terabyte transfer which for most people is more than enough that costs five dollars a month and the way that obviously it works is that they charge you per hour up to a monthly cap so if you delete your um, VPS after a week you'll only be charged for the amount of hours that you've used it however there are other plans as well for ten dollars a month you can have a gig of memory instead of 512 and 30 gig of SSD disk rather than 20 and two terabytes of transfer they do this all the way up to $80 a month where you can have 8GB of memory, 4 core CPU, 80GB SSD disk and 5TB transfer. They also offer much bigger uh, hosting plans. So for example they do up to $960 a month for 96GB of RAM, 24 cores and 960GB of SSD disk with 10TB of transfer. Also your additional transfer is only 2 cents per gigabyte. So if you go over by a few gigabytes, then it's only going to cost you a few more cents. There are several other features as well um, to do with DigitalOcean. For example, your server can be deployed in 55 seconds, which is pretty quick. That means that you don't have to wait around for systems to be set up for you. All servers come with a 1 gigabyte a second link. And the way that the VPS works is it uses KVM virtualization to provision one single machine into several machines. For example, in DigitalOcean they use thousands of physical machines and provision them into millions of virtual machines and then sell them. And each server is based on SSD hard disk, so speeds will be a lot greater than having SATA. So if you have a heavy um, site which is getting millions of views, then it's recommended that you use a service like this because it can serve web pages quicker. And they also run their servers on hex core processors which are between 2 GHz and 3 GHz. They also offer shared private networking so one droplet is a virtual machine one droplet can talk to another droplet so that within the data center your two droplets can talk to each other and communicate and also that means that any data transferred do not get counted in the transfer costs. So now I'm going to show you how to sign up with DigitalOcean and get your first droplet Hit the sign up button at the top right corner or click on the link below and you'll be taken to a sign up page. Enter your email and password and you can create an account. If you already have an account, click on the login button and as soon as you're logged in you'll be sent to this screen where you'll have to update your billing. Just click get started. So here you can select credit card or you can select PayPal payment. So for now what we're going to do is we're going to process a PayPal payment and pay via credit. You can also use the promo code dive in 10 currently to get $10 worth of free credit. If you don't want to enter your credit card details you can just use PayPal and they will accept a credit system on PayPal so when you run out of credit they'll send you an email to top up. So next what we need to do is click create droplet and here we need to set a host name for the machine. So once you've entered your host name you can select the size of your droplet. This refers to the pricing that you saw earlier so we're going to go for the basic setup now uh, which costs five dollars a month next you can select a region this is basically where you're uh, closest to 
and each one of these regions has a data center where your droplet will be stored. For now we're going to select New York 2. Next we need to select the Linux distribution. So we can select either Ubuntu, CentOS, Debian, Arc Linux or Fedora. For now going with Ubuntu and we're going to go for 1204x64 and make sure the this option here is selected and we don't need private networking at the minute so we can click create droplet and it's now creating a droplet for me now it's created my droplet it gives me an IP address and it also gives me the information on what I've set up so on the screen you can choose to reboot the droplet or you can permanently power off if you power off you will be able to boot it up afterwards and you will still be charged while it's powered off. Next we can click on access and we can click on console access and this is connecting through to my console from my droplet now and we can see that my SSH connection has been established and I'm now connected to my droplet. If we go back to droplet, uh, the droplet settings we can click on resize and this will basically upgrade um, the specs of your VPS hosting although you do need to power off before it will allow you to do this you can create snapshots so if you, you want to change some settings you can take a snapshot of it first if you need to you can revert back you can create backups there's other settings as well it gives you your IP address uh, the kernel and lets you rename your VPS host also gives you a graph and allows you to destroy your droplet. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, rate, comment and subscribe. Please check out my other videos at youtube.com forward slash Ben's Tech Tips.